Apple just released iPadOS 16.2 and with it comes some pretty big improvements to how Stage Manager works on the iPad. I'm Jason Cipriani and in this ZDNet video, I'm gonna walk you through on how to use the iPad's new external monitor support, true external monitor support, a first for Apple's tablet. So if you'll recall, I've already done a video walking you through how to use Stage Manager. And for those who haven't seen it yet, Stage Manager is a feature on select iPad models that allows you to use multiple windows on your display at the same time. It looks and works a lot more like a Mac operating system, but it's on the iPad. And during the beta process throughout the entire time, there was external monitor support true external monitor support. And what I mean by that is the iPad's display is no longer mirrored on an external monitor. You're able to have effectively two different desktops or home screens, whatever you want to call them on the iPad, which has their own apps and you can independently edit and manipulate those home screens. With iPadOS 16.2, Stage Manager now has external monitor support, which only comes to any iPads that are powered by an M1 or M2 processor. So that's the latest iPad Air, uh, the last two years of iPad Pros. Outside of that, even though your iPad may, you, you may have a 2018 iPad Pro that supports Stage Manager, but it will not support external monitor uh, integration, which is just a performance issue. A, you know, Apple kept it out for that reason. So to use the external monitor support, what you need to do first is connect your iPad to an external monitor. You can do that using a USB-C or Thunderbolt cable, or you can use an HDMI adapter like an Anchor 7-in-1, USB-C to HDMI slash USB plugs or whatever. And another factor of this is your iPad has to have a trackpad or mouse and a keyboard connected to it, whether that's the magic keyboard from Apple or you have a hardwired keyboard and mouse, or even a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. Once you connect it to an external monitor, as long as all those devices are there, it will allow you to use Stage Manager on the external display. So I have an iPad Pro. This is a M1 iPad Pro here, connected to an Apple Studio display, and all of the windows that are on the Studio display are actually running from the iPad, and I can use the trackpad on the Magic Keyboard here to manipulate it. So uh, you may have just seen I moved the mouse cursor from the studio display off to the left side to my iPad's display. You can, you can set the arrangement of where the display is in relation to the iPad by going into the Settings app, tap on Display and Brightness, and then you're going to want to select Arrangement, which is under the Displays section. And you can see there's uh, four squares here, one on each side of your external monitor that you could drag the iPad's display to. And once you have it correctly oriented, you hit set and you're good to go. Another thing you'll want to check out while you're in the settings display and brightness section is tapping on your display specific settings. So the studio display, you can actually control brightness level because it's integrated. It's from Apple, has all those fancy features. Whereas some third-party monitors, you could control things like HDR or keep it in dynamic rate or SDR or allow display mode changes, which integrates the refresh rate and, and other features like that that we don't need to go into. All right, so with your iPad and your external monitor arranged properly, you can take the mouse cursor and move across and man manipulate and resize windows just as you would if you were using Stage Manager on only your iPad's display. But you can move these around. All right, so when you have an external monitor connected to your iPad and you click or tap on the three dot button that's at the top of each window, you now have a new option. You can still go to full screen. This app's already in full screen, so I don't have an option there. But you can add another window to that stage. You can minimize it, you can close it. But now there's move to display. So if I wanted to move the settings app, which is what I have open right here, to the external monitor, I would click move to display. Boom. 
it is automatically over on the external monitor. I could come back to it, click on that same button, and now instead of saying move to display, it says move to iPad, and we can go back to the iPad. So you can manipulate your windows the same way you would if you were in Stage Manager uh, on just the iPad screen. Now keep in mind, even though you have two home screens here, the iPad's home screen has all of your apps and your widgets and, and all of that. Whereas, as you can see on this display here, I have my app dock. That's it. There's nothing I could put on the desktop. There's no sort of widget display. It would be great for that to happen. I would love for that to happen. But it's very basic. And, and that's actually kind of a good thing, in my opinion. But I won't go into that whole... So when you're using Stage Manager on both the iPad and an external display, you can actually have up to eight windows going at a given time. Four on the iPad, four on the external monitor, plus you have whatever's open in your sidebar uh, that you can easily access. That's a lot, and that's part of the reason why this is limited to M1 and M2 iPad models because it takes a lot of performance for the iPad in order to have eight windows. This is something that has never been possible on the iPad and here we are, eight windows open and running at the same time. Pretty darn cool. So let's go back into the settings app real quick. We're gonna to go to settings, home screen and multitasking and then under at the bottom under multitasking is stage manager and here you have two options. You can tap under layout, you could have iPad or external display. This is where you go to control whether you want the recent apps to show up on the sidebar or the dock. You could turn the dock off or have recent apps show up. And this controls more or less how much display screen space you use with your apps. And as you can see, when I turn on recent apps, it kind of shifts over to the side and then shifts back. I prefer to use it with recent apps turned off, but the dock still present. That way I could switch between stuff or at least monitor which apps have notifications and go from there. Now, one thing I do want to cover uh, real quick is that you can actually turn Stage Manager off on the iPad and use it in the more traditional multitasking or single app window format while still using stage manager on an external display, which is my preferred way of doing this. Usually what I do when I'm working on an external display with stage manager and the iPad is I have the iPad set to stage manager off. You don't have the option for stage manager on or off on uh, external display. So I'm, I have three or four windows with multiple apps still in the sidebar running and I can leave Slack or maybe my email open on the iPad itself while still doing stuff in a text editor and Safari and all of that on the external monitor. This really, for me, is a game changer in how I use my iPad. Stage Manager is good, but with an external monitor, Stage Manager, manager is just flat out great. I absolutely love using it with whether it's the studio display or an, a standard display through an HDMI connection. It expands the capabilities quite a bit of what you can do at one time on the iPad. Hopefully you learned a thing or two in this how-to video. I'm Jason Cipriani with ZDNet. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips just like this, as well as all the latest news and info.